A local high school student is now in Metro jail accused of shooting two classmates at LaFleur High School in Mobile. WKRG News 5's Haley Kennedy is here. Haley, this 16 year old suspect is being charged as an adult. Yeah, Cherish, that LaFleur student is now facing two counts of assault, possession of a deadly weapon on school grounds, and discharging a firearm in a school building. Police cars and anxious parents outside of LaFleur High School Tuesday as the school was under lockdown. As a parent, like that was very disturbing to hear that there's a shooting at the school. Police say a 16-year-old girl firing a bullet at a 15-year-old boy, grazing him and hitting a 17-year-old bystander. Investigators say the girl ran off to a relative's house in Westmobile, and with the help of her parents, MPD was able to track her down and take her into custody, now in Mobile County Metro Jail. You know, it is not right to do this, and, um, and it's until we can change that mindset, you know, uh, that's... I'm not sure what else. I don't know that anybody has completely solved the problem. Raising questions on how the gun even got into the school. The Mobile County Public School System says that metal detectors are only used for big events and not for everyday use, and that safety checks are conducted randomly. They bring in um, the canine dogs and the, the metal detecting wands, and they, they check the classroom. The school system could not confirm if a resource officer was at the school at the time of the shooting. The school has also assigned a Mobile County sheriff's deputy who was there in the morning and then left to patrol another school. Options like clear backpacks are used at other Mobile County public schools and are now being considered for LaFleur High School as well. We're always looking to improve our um, procedures that we have in place for security. We're constantly improving them and so um, yes we'll look into everything. But parents are saying this should have never happened in the first place. I was a student of LaFleur and we have never had anything like this happen before. Mobile Police Chief Paul Prine says that they are still trying to pinpoint the girl's motive. And at last word, we're told both victims are doing okay and are expected to survive. Reporting in the studio, Haley Kennedy, WKRG News 5.